we're gonna fill a gap right here. What we've got is we've got about a four to five acre field here at my mother and father-in-law's house where I killed the deer last year and fescue, hay, you know, they've been mowing it for hay and it, it was at the point where it kind of needed replanted. It had a lot of weeds in it and so next year we're gonna actually plant switchgrass into this. So I've came through here and I've killed this with Roundup, sprayed it down to fill the gap. We're going in with Pennington's Field Guard cover crop, 85% rye, cereal rye, and 15% radishes. Basically just no-tilling it straight in. We've got plenty of thatch left on top of the ground. We're running the, the cutters at just a slight angle, but running it kind of level. And it should come right up with a little bit of shower on it. You know, we go ahead through here and we kill this with Roundup to mainly, you know, get rid of this fescue because it is that's your number one en enemy when you're trying to establish an, a warm season grass. So instead of this just being a bare, barren field this fall, why not make it a food plot? The seeds that are in the cover crops are the same exact seeds that are in the food plot blends. Now, a lot of people don't realize that, but really a food plot blend that we're planting is actually a cover crop. Th th these plants are very, very good for the soil. So we're just gonna put this right here. You know, <clears throat> like I said, it might as well be a food plot this fall and enjoy it and hunt over it rather than it just being a bare field. So we're gonna drop it all in and hopefully by the middle of October, we'll have something to show you. got a few issues today normally we wouldn't be loading the sprayer in the back of my side-by-side -side towards the end of September but yesterday I was checking some food plots and changing some batteries on a camera I had the right wind to slip in because we're so close to season that right now I just kind of tiptoe around and noticed that the food plot didn't look quite right so I wa walked over there looked at it and we've got army worms. They have totally destroyed one of my plots. So it got me worried and I came over here to Grandpa's, went back here and looked at our plot and we've got them in there, but they're not terrible yet. They just started stripping some plants down. So we're loading the sprayer, we're gonna put some chemical in and we're gonna take care of them real quick today. All right, this is the plot that we came in and looked at yesterday. It actually looks really good. We've got a great stand of, this is actually Pennington feeding frenzy. But we've got a small issue, but if we left it alone, it would turn into a big issue in a couple days, and maybe overnight. Now we came in here last night, and you can actually see these plants. If you look on this rye and this wheat, these uh, army worms are in their first stage of life, basically. What they do is they eat the undersides of these leaves and they don't eat all the way through it. That's their first stage of life. And you can see those little, oh, it's kind of like a translucent membrane that's, that's left. Right now, it's not a big issue, uh, but they're, they're definitely eating forage. But, like I said, when those worms hit their second stage of life, they consume 90% of the plants. If we left this alone and didn't touch it, we'd come back and it'd be nothing but a dirt field in a couple days and maybe even less. So what I recommend you do if you've got army worms or if you see an infestation, go to your local co-op and, and tell them that you have army worms and let a professional tell you exactly what chemical you need. You definitely want to take care of these before they totally wipe you out. All right, now we're, we're back in the plot that I initially found uh, the army worms in yesterday. And like I said, we looked at this about 10 days ago. I've got a camera right over here. These deer come out and they walk right by the camera and out into these big ag fields. So I walked over here and looked and it just looked weird and got down on my hands and knees and started looking. And these little worms are everywhere. 
And like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with um, army worms. Um, I did a little research last night and these seem to be army worms. They've got a little inverted Y on their head and I don't know if you can see that. I know you can see it on that one right there. And you see them two little stripes that it's an inverted Y and they've got green and white and gray stripes down their back and they move really quickly and these are our culprits and you can look at all these plants here like here's a piece of rye and it's just riddled look there's actually a little there's a little worm right there that was on that plant and that that worm right there is in he's in I'd say stage one so he's eating the bottom side of those leaves and they'll start it like this and then within a day it turns into that 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 is not deer brows that is army worm brows so we're gonna get this sprayed and I'm hoping which we're in the shade right now and there's there's a little bit of rye and wheat left um, we've still got some radishes some lost and winter peas but you get farther out in the plot and it's just gone got some brassicas out there that we might can salvage so we're gonna go ahead and get it sprayed and hopefully take care of these I mean, they're just crawling everywhere there's one right here to see this but let me get this down here. Oop. this is a deer this is terrible okay. this is a deer that we call sixer last year we tried really hard to kill him he was six and a half years old last year and he's a legend on this place he's just a big old bully eight pointer um, Mother and father-in-law's place actually butts up to some of Jeff Butler's ground, full draw hunts. And late season last year, we actually had him in the food plot. Had about 80 or 90 yards and we just couldn't get him to come in closer. But this is his shed. Kind of neat to find that right here in the food plot that we're actually planting to kill that deer. So plan is to stick a redneck hay bale blind right here in this fence row somewhere somewhere between that cedar tree and this edge and we're gonna kill him <laughs> 